Welcome to Blockland Help. In these videos I'll be showing you how to do stuff in Blockland like events and some building techniques. If you have any suggestions of what to make a video of, please leave a comment below or fill out the format on my channel or on my website. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do uh, random events with VCE. So um, we're just going to get a brick out, any brick, doesn't matter. Uh, this is just going to be a basic implementation of it, um, but uh, there's many, many other ways that this can be used, like a slot machine or RPGs or anything else like that <clears throat> uh, like random awards from stuff okay anyway so we're going going into events and I'm just going to be doing on activate self and mod variable now this first thing is very very important um, for random events to work it's going to have to be um, basically uh, event from 0 to the number you set the random to uh, so if the random so when we start off we're going to want to be set, setting the brick uh, the, uh, a variable random to 0 so if we have if the because if the random event from uh, goes to the hold on let me just this part here on activate self um, mod variable brick ran random uh, and instead of set to we're going to have random and we're just going to put it to 10 so if uh, this event up here wasn't here um, random would be default set to 0 I'm pretty sure and if we just kept doing this uh, eventually the random event would hit this max uh, event number the variable would hit that max number I guess you would call it and it would be random from 10 to 10 which would be 10 100 percent of the time but it would be uh, anything from 0 to 10 so if it was set to 5 then the events the variables would be the random variables would be going from 5 to 10 and then it could be somewhere between 5 to 10 like 7 and then so between 7 to 10 then it'd be something like 9 9 to 10 and there's a 50-50 chance that it get to 10 and then 100% of the time it would be 10 so we want to have this uh, random event set to 0 every single time so we have a, a chance of going from 0 to 10 and then uh, just to show this we're going to be doing um, displaying it variable brick so it's set to the brick uh, random Okay, send. So at the bottom, seven, two, nine, three, one, three, ten, seven, one, ten, nine, zero goes through all the numbers. Now something you can do with this is on act on activate self if variable random equals ten on variable true self disappear for five seconds. So if this gets to a ten doesn't feel like going to ten. There it goes, it'll disappear for five seconds. Now this can be implemented with uh, RPGs and uh, by if for like mining and wood cutting, if you hit a certain number then you gain wood and that brick disappears for a while. Uh, or wood or iron or whatever and uh, slot machines um, you go, it takes more events than this if you have that set to 9 it's going to have 10 events from 0 to 9 uh, randomly to get a hundred to get um, the number you want because uh, if you're going to be displaying it I mean like on a brick you're going to want to have um, have multiple if statements and lots of lots of events um, basically saying if this brick if the variable is zero then this brick print will display zero if not then we'll go to the next events and if it's uh, one it'll display one if not go to the next if it's two display two so on and so forth and it's um, just a lot of events and not for the new eventer especially not uh, you should, uh, you should, 
if you want to check out the video video um if you want to make one just check out uh, multiple if statements and that should be enough basic knowledge with this video um, to try it and continue trying it until you succeed finally if you know what you uh, what everything about is it's not that hard at all I've made one with uh, VCE and actually with with just default events and relays and all that stuff uh, both pretty simple just uh, takes a while because of all the events and whatnot. not